Can your husband make gold out of stones? Because if he can, I would like to speak to him. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Once upon a time, according to the legend of the Padang tribe in Myanmar, thousands of years ago, an alchemist wandered into the forest and fell in love with a dragon. The dragon then laid three eggs, out of which were born three tribes. The Pa'o, the Karen, and the Padang. Since then, in order to honor their basilisk mother, the Padang women have elongated their necks to resemble a dragon. So all the women are dragons and all the men are alchemists? Oh, dear. Nice. Yes. Um, can your husband make gold out of stones? Because if he can, I would like to speak to him. Mule has been wearing 24 brass coils for 43 years. Her neck is now 12 inches long. How old were you when you first put these on? Go, go, nisa. And how many did you start with? What would happen if you took them off? Would your neck be able to support your head? Like Mule, two of her nieces wear the coils as well. And once they're on, they stay on forever. Your grandmother said that the younger generation is not wearing it so much anymore. Why did you decide to wear it? Oh, oh. What do they think about you wearing the rings? Beautiful. I love it too. I think it looks beautiful as well. And there are a few other issues that come with having a long dragon neck. <laughs> Can you see your toes? They dance. Oh, yeah, they may not. No problem. <laughs> On the next Abroad Abroad, want to know where diamonds are not a girl's best friend? Take a stroll with me through Mandalay's Jade Market as I try and strike it rich.